Shall we start? Yeah. 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 Thank you all for being here. It feels like we've been building up for this for so long. Super happy that you're all here. It's so great to have us all in a room. So welcome. Welcome to this first session of Lost and Found. Hi, my name is Maimuna Jallo, and I'm the Artistic Director of the East African Soul Train 2021 edition. The virtual collaboration process was a very interesting one. I mean, doing an online residency was new to all of us, every single one of us, and so it was really an experiment. And we didn't know, would it work? Would the artist really be able to connect? One of the cornerstones of East has always been that physical experience on the train and all these artists essentially locked in a small space over a period of time with a shared goal, which is to co-create new works of art. So we went into this uh, virtual version without a blueprint. Um, we did know that it just couldn't be a series of sessions over Zoom and that we had to get creative about the process and how the artists would, would engage with each other across space, across time. And so we put a lot of thought into this um, because at the end of the day, you have to be able to create bonds um, and trust between the artists, even if it's virtual, because having strong bonds, trusting each other, I think is just fundamental to the co-creation process. I think we were also very clear that the emphasis, like in all the East African soul trains, would be on the process and not just the product. And it was really important not to put pressure on the artist to produce something concrete from the start. Remember, this is happening in the midst of a pandemic. People are already going through a lot of pressure. Everything seems rather unreal. So we didn't want this to be a process that would be difficult. Yes, challenging, but not, you know, grindingly difficult. Rather, we really wanted to inspire them um, and provide the space for them to inspire each other um, based on this theme, which was lost and found. We had artists uh, in different locations, in different African countries, Uganda, Kenya, Ghana, Botswana. And of course we had Dia in India. Uh, we had a team member in Brazil. I was in Barcelona. Gigi was um, in Germany at the time. Uh, Poppy was in Uganda and in the UK. We were all scattered in different places. But the COVID pandemic had really isolated us from each other in a way that no one had ever experienced before or even imagined. You know, a lot of artistic collaborations come from sitting in a bar or in a garden somewhere and dreaming up um, new ideas. And of course, all of that had been taken away from us. And I guess we're slowly going back to that, that possibility but the reality is that, yeah, the world has become hybrid, you know, whether you like that word or not. My favorite part of the residency was creating it with the most amazing team, honestly. The Eureka moment was the final virtual performance. I think until that moment, I wasn't quite sure how it would all come together, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but when we went live, I mean, the energy was palpable even across the screen. I could literally feel my screen pulsating. As every piece played or as we went live to a new location, it felt like we were on that physical train journey and we could feel the audience there with us, enjoying the show, but also exploring their own losses, uh, celebrating their own journeys of triumph during this difficult period. Um, and just seeing all the beauty that the artists had created, um, the power of their messages, the vulnerability with which they created and shared their thoughts, their emotions, their talent, it was just overwhelming. <laughs>